My name's Joe Egmelis. I was born to Kanak parents James and Decima Egmelis. My grandparents on my dad's side and my great grandparents on my mum's side were from New Hebrides, which is now Vanuatu. My great grandfather Oba and my grandfather Egmelis came to Queensland willingly. Grandma Egmelis was kidnapped at the age of 16. This year, 2013, is the anniversary of the first Pacific Islanders or Kanakas coming to Queensland. Our people were mostly used for clearing land, planting sugarcane, chipping, and then during harvest season cutting sugarcane. So the main beneficiary of the island slave labour was the sugar industry of Queensland. Conditions on the plantations varied from plantation to plantation, depending on how considerate the owners or the overseers were. There are examples in Miraborough of some terrible cases where water carts were removed from the Kanakas that they had to find water where they could and quite often that was in the footpaths of the cattle and you can imagine what the water was mixed with. I'm very proud of what our elders did to survive the atrocities of those times and still were able to achieve and integrate um, into this society and create a, a pathway for their descendants such as myself. After being recognised in 1967, our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander brothers and sisters had to wait 41 years to hear the word sorry being spoken. Our Kanaka people were recognised by the federal government in 1994 and the, the offending state Queensland recognised us in 2000. Do we, the Kanaka people, now have to wait 41 years plus to hear the words sorry spoken to us.